King enrolled in Crozer Theological Seminary in Upland, Pennsylvania. King's father fully supported his decision to continue his education and made arrangements for King to work with prominent Crozer alum, J. Pius Barber, a family friend who pastored at Calvary Baptist Church in nearby Chester, Pennsylvania. King became known as one of the Sons of Calvary, an honor he shared with William Augustus Jones Jr. and Samuel D. Proctor who both went on to become well-known preachers in the black church. While attending Crozer, King was joined by Walter McCall, a former classmate at Morehouse. At Crozer, King was elected president of the student body. The African-American students of Crozer for the most part conducted their social activity on Edwards Street. King became fond of the street because a classmate had an aunt who prepared collard greens for them, which they both relished. King once reproved another student for keeping beer in his room, saying they had shared responsibility as African Americans to bear the burdens of the Negro race. For a time, he was interested in Walter Rauschenbusch's social gospel. In his third year at Crozer, King became romantically involved with the white daughter of an immigrant German woman who worked as a cook in the cafeteria. The woman had been involved with a professor prior to her relationship with King. King planned to marry her, but friends advised against it, saying that an interracial marriage would provoke animosity from both blacks and whites, potentially damaging his chances of ever pastoring a church in the South. King tearfully told a friend that he could not endure his mother's pain over the marriage and broke the relationship off six months later. He continued to have lingering feelings toward the woman he left, one friend was quoted as saying, he never recovered. King graduated with a Bachelor of Divinity degree in 1951. He applied to the University of Edinburgh to do his doctorate in the School of Divinity. An offer was made by Edinburgh, but he chose Boston instead. In 1951, King began doctoral studies in systematic theology at Boston University. While pursuing doctoral studies, King worked as an assistant minister at Boston's historic 12th Baptist Church with William Hunter Hester. Hester was an old friend of King's father and was an important influence on King. In Boston, King befriended a small cadre of local ministers his age, and sometimes guest pastored at their churches, including Michael Haynes, associate pastor at 12th Baptist Church in Roxbury, and younger brother of jazz drummer Roy Haynes. The young men often held bull sessions in their various apartments, discussing theology, sermon style, and social issues. King attended philosophy classes at Harvard University as an audit student in 1952 and 1953. At the age of 25 in 1954, King was called as pastor of the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama. King received his Ph.D. degree on June 5, 1955, with a dissertation, initially supervised by Edgar S. Brightman and, upon the latter's death, by Lawton Harold DeWolf, titled A Comparison of the Conceptions of God in the Thinking of Paul Tillich and Henry Nelson Wieman. An academic inquiry in October 1991 concluded that portions of his doctoral dissertation had been plagiarized and he had acted improperly. However, D, despite its finding, the committee said that no thought should be given to the revocation of Dr. King's doctoral degree, an action that the panel said would serve no purpose. The committee found that the dissertation still makes an intelligent contribution to scholarship. A letter is now attached to the copy of King's dissertation held in the university library noting that numerous passages were included without the appropriate quotations and citations of sources. Significant debate exists on how to interpret King's plagiarism. While studying at Boston University, he asked a friend from Atlanta named Mary Powell, who was a student at the New England Conservatory of Music, if she knew any nice Southern girls. Powell asked fellow student Coretta Scott if she was interested in meeting a Southern friend studying divinity. Scott was not interested in dating preachers but eventually agreed to allow Martin to telephone her based on Powell's description and vouching. On their first phone call, 
King told Scott, I am like Napoleon at Waterloo before your charms, to which she replied, you haven't even met me. They went out for dates in his green Chevy. After the second date, King was certain Scott possessed the qualities he sought in a wife. She had been an activist at Antioch as an undergraduate student. King married Coretta Scott on June 18, 1953, on the lawn of her parents' house in her hometown of Heiberger, Alabama, 94, they became the parents of four children, Yolanda King, 1955-2007, Martin Luther King III, born in 1957, Dexter Scott King, born in 1961, and Bernice King, born in 1963. During their marriage, King limited Coretta's role in the civil rights movement, expecting her to be a housewife and mother. In December 1959, after being based in Montgomery for five years, King announced his return to Atlanta at the request of the SCLC. In Atlanta, King served until his death as co-pastor with his father at the Ebenezer Baptist Church and helped expand the civil rights movement across the South.